Hey, what's good YouTube? So I got another knife review video for you and this is the Benchmade Mediator. This is an, an auto knife. And I can just tell you that the action on this is pretty powerful. Like you just wanna, if you don't have a good grip on it, it'll fly out of your hand for sure. And I've heard people say the action is just as powerful as most of the Protec automatic knives, which is saying something because Protec has a pretty high reputation. We got this little lock here, so you can lock it closed, it won't fire. Push it down, it fires. Lock it into place, won't close. The scales are G10. Kind of like the scales, it kind of helps it be more lightweight. They got a good texture to them, they feel nice. The ergonomics are really good actually. The pocket clip is a really nice pocket clip really well designed it's gonna work extremely well going in and out of your pants pockets the hardware is Torx head screws as you can see there got the lanyard hole but yeah bench made mediator this is a it's a good little little knife I'm impressed by this it's like a little it's like a bench made bug out auto I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger when I first got it but it's like a yeah it's like I feel like the size of a full size bug out maybe a little bigger but and the blade shape I guess this is like a drop point Blade is S90V. It's pretty good steel. It's going to have high wear resistance, corrosion resistance, and good edge retention as well. Let's see, what else can I say about this beauty? A lot of, um, auto knives have handled like when you go lock it in the closed position it's just kind of a mushy fill but this has a solid clicking that you can definitely tell when it's closed and like it's not gonna spring back open on you you know I was considering if I would were to keep this knife I'm not sure if I'm going to but Putting a little red dot right in there to know which is the the fire the fire position of the switch and which is the locked position because I find myself getting it mixed up so I don't know that's just what it's the safeties are like on some guns so I figured that would it would make sense to do that right well. So I really have it's all I really have to say about this for now. I guess we can um yeah the ergonomics like I said are good. You can kind of choke up right here. Got the jimping on the back right here to help with more precise cutting. Let's see. It was alright, I mean, yeah, see it didn't like fully cut through, but if I hold it like this with my finger, I can get more leverage on the tip. 
I mean, this blade shape isn't really specifically for this type of thing. If I wanted to cut out shapes or something, <laughs> or utility cuts, I probably want a worn cliff. But this blade shape is probably more for like self defense. Ideally, it can be used for a variety of other things. It's fairly thin behind the edge. So, you can use it for slicing. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a good one, see ya.